Hey, it's that CV axle cutting show. I pulled this out uh, for doing a little burn test on this. I wasn't sure. I said, warning, you could have gas vapors or whatever. This contains fuel vapors, so don't be smoking, don't be around ignition. God bless them. Yeah, I'm real sorry your mom blew up, Ricky. So what you see being poured from this uh, EVAP can that I've cut open is some activated carbon or charcoal. And the characteristic of this is it's like a sponge. It's super dry and it's got a lot of pores and cavities and things in the inside of it. There's different designs of it. There's different ways to get it, different things you can burn and deplete to get it so that it's like this. It's like a dry lake bed in little tiny molecular form that just sponges stuff up. So this holds on to your gasoline uh, on a hot day so that the vapors don't escape into the environment. But then it allows it to be pulled up out of those tiny little nooks and crannies and crevices uh, so that your vehicle can burn it once it's up and running. It's really a clever, clever design. So I'm going to do some rudimentary experiments. I'm not going to be real scientific. Just give you a thumbnail sketch of how this stuff works and uh, show it in action. We're going to light some of this stuff on fire. But uh, I've never actually tried to light this on fire. Let's start out small and then we'll work our way up and see if it burns. I'm going to start with a lighter in a small quantity. See if it lights up. This stuff stinks like gas. It's been absolutely submerged in gas and let's see if it blows up my camera. <laughs> yeah, really good. Anywhere, anytime, it's just totally full of hydrocarbons. This was actually flooded with hydrocarbons because of the filler neck system and the modern gas cans are not compatible. They don't work at all. But look, that burns pretty dang good. Can you imagine if I lit the whole bucket? That'd be a mess. It looks like it's actually getting wet around the shovel. So water, H2O, is a, is a byproduct of hydrocarbons burning. So you got hydrogen and uh, carbon. It's got uh, all kinds of oxygen. So H2O. Look at that, it's just burning out, slowly but surely. Let's put some more on and see what that does. Poof. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's like, taking, it's like taking rocks or something, you know, like a wizard throws rocks into a fire. Poof. I mean, this carbon, it really holds on to this stuff. I mean, it's just like it burns better than wood or anything else. I mean, it really holds the hydrocarbons in it. Now, if you were to have some that wasn't flooded, for example, I've got some from this Toyota. Let's pour, put this on there and see how it burns. It doesn't. I mean, this thing can hold a lot of gas. You know, for example, this one was flooded full of gas and this wasn't. So it's almost out. Let's see if we can save it. Ah, I saved it. What a fun little game. Don't try this at home. Isn't that interesting? I wonder what would happen if we were to just pour some gasoline into this bucket from the Toyota one that wasn't flooded. Alright, let's shift gears. I'll take this, pour it into the bucket. You see how it sticks because of the moisture that came off of it. It kind of separates out. This is the non-flammable bucket. This is the flammable bucket. I'll just show you one more demonstration because it's fun. So that lights right up. Don't try this at home. This is not burning. This is Toyota stuff, right? So we're going to take a bunch of this, pour it into here. Now this has a hole in the bottom. That's the whole point of this. You see the hole is right there. Um, white, dark, light, dark. It's definitely a hole, okay? So we're gonna pour this into here and pour some more. The shovel's so handy. I almost threw this away, can you believe that? I wouldn't have had it for the CV axle video. Wouldn't have had it for this video. Sad things if I'd have done that. So we are going to pour some gasoline into here. But basically, I want to see if it'll absorb it so that it doesn't get on the paper. Okay. So I've just poured it in there. And we'll see if it got on the paper. So I dripped here and I dripped here. Not a great control or whatever. It's dry. 
bone dry. So, I mean, it absorbs a lot of gasoline. I don't know what it is. When you think about gas vapors, you know, liquid gas, that's some serious uh, concentration compared to just vapors. Vapors, of course, it would grab onto even all the better. It kind of it fizzes. You hear that? It's kind of fizzing and sizzling. There's still nothing coming out the bottom of it. Isn't that impressive? We'll take this one outside and light it on fire on the back patio. So I don't want to have too many... Uh, you can certainly smell the gasoline at this point. I should have a camera on the side of it. So everywhere you've spilled everywhere. But you look underneath, it still isn't coming out that little hole in the bottom. This stuff's kind of solidifying. It's kind of clumping, you know, like sugar clumps with water in it. So I wish I'd have poured it more carefully. I'll show you again from the side. We'll pour some more in there. So you've got a bunch of marks all the way around the outside and a little bit on the bottom, but this stuff, I mean, watch it just soak it up. I'm going to take some more of this. Um, this is all, again, from the Toyota. Just put it in there. You see it just fizz. It's like it's reacting. I'm not taking very much, just a pinch. It just soaks it up like crazy. The stuff is super absorbent. If you want to soak up gas, this is the stuff to do. Now to have this, uh, I don't know if charcoal is expensive, but on a hazmat truck or something, this would be the stuff to do. I mean, you could do kitty litter too, but this stuff you can pull back off of it. Just puddling in there and it's just dry now. Pretty impressive. This is a fun little experiment. Does charcoal work to absorb hydrocarbons, gas, aka gasoline? Yeah, it does. So it is 714, just turned 715. I'm going to light this up and see how long it burns. Of course, that lights right up. The lid's going to burn a little bit too, but the main thing I'm just seeing how much energy or how much burn time we'd have with that little bit of gas we put in. Alright, so it just barely went out, and you see the time is right at 7.30. That's pretty good. Most of the gas was in the center, and that's what you saw burning that last little bit. Okay, now I'm going to pour roughly the same amount of uh, gasoline, just drizzle it into this automotive shovel, that's what I'm calling it now. I just drizzle it in. I'm probably going to put a little bit more in. It doesn't matter how much you do, because in an open container it spreads out pretty evenly. The point of the charcoal is that it holds on to it and you get a longer burn time out of it. Kind of like a candle, you know, lighting a string on fire versus lighting a string on that's surrounded by wax that causes a slower burn. So we're going to go ahead and light this off. And get the lighter to work. There we go. So you get a much bigger flame at first. I'm going to do a little time mark here. The time is 7.33, took me three minutes to get prepped. And I'm wearing a fleece jacket, so I've got to be careful. Fleece is highly flammable. We're just going to see how long this burns for. This is going to mess up my time lapse, but this is really cool looking. You can see the heat causing it to vaporize quicker because there's more surface area exposed. See these little sub fires popping off, like little storms on the surface of Jupiter or Mars or something. It's pretty cool.
Back to time lapse mode. You see it's already dying down really rapidly. I'm gonna have to get my watch prepped again here. And that wasn't much of a time lapse. It's completely out. And the time is let's see if we can get this to show better. 734. So that burned for about a minute and there was more fuel. You'll have to take my word for it. I didn't get scientific on it. Probably woulda, shoulda, coulda, but one minute versus about 10 minutes. It lasted 10 times longer being in that uh, charcoal. Bonus footage at the end. There we go, let it fly.